The apple has dropped. Hi, I'm Joel Sweeney. I did a post into Joel's Minutes on this particular cliché uh, a few days ago, but you can only say so much in the span of a minute. And so I wanted to expand a little bit more on it because I feel it's so true. Um, we got to recognize that there are things that ultimately are just outside our control. <clears throat> and I found myself in one of those situations uh, during the past week. About a week ago today, I was playing, as a matter of fact, it's exactly a week ago today, I was playing racquetball with my son. We were having a great game. We had been playing for almost an hour. And just two points away from finishing off the game, I tore my Achilles tendon in my left foot. And right away, I was immobilized. I couldn't walk. I couldn't do anything for probably about 15, 20 minutes. Then it settled down a little bit, and I was able to get to my car and get home and eventually get to the doctor and get it checked and only to find out that I had to put it in a cast, confined to crutches, uh, not able to put any weight on my left foot at all, had to rely solely on the crutches. And uh, and it's wintertime here. We live in Newfoundland on the east coast of Canada and the weather is not necessarily uh, overly conducive to getting around with a pair of crutches and only one good leg. So uh, I found myself uh, sitting for a moment and kind of bemoaning, the, you know, what had happened to me a little bit. And, you know, I probably I shouldn't have gone and played that game of racquetball. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have put in such a, you know, a concentrated effort to win, uh, you know, been less competitive or those kinds of things. And I was having this conversation with my wife and she very quickly said to me, you know, the apple has dropped. And those few words really resonated with me uh, because she was so right. The the apple had indeed dropped. It's like the apple has fallen from the tree. There's no way you're putting that apple back on the tree. Well, there was no way I was attaching my uh, Achilles tendon in my left foot uh, just by wishing it to occur. I had to accept what had gone on and the ramifications of that and recognize that, okay, now I've got a different environment that I have to operate in for the next probably seven to eight weeks. So I needed to look at that in a different context. I need to look at that, okay, what are some of the positives that come out of that? Because we have another, you know, cliche called <clears throat> every cloud has a silver silver lining, every dark cloud has a silver lining. So the dark cloud, I guess, for me was uh, separating my Achilles tendon. The silver lining is that it's going to allow me uh, to focus some of my energy, quite a bit of my energy, as a matter of fact, on developing my online business, which I've been sort of dragging my heels on anyway. And so now, because I can't do a whole lot of face-to-face uh, -face, uh, training, coaching, anything where I have to stand for any amount of time, any more than a few minutes, is just not going to work for me. So, so the face-to-face -face stuff is sort of backing away for the next few weeks. And it's going to give me a tremendous opportunity to explore some of the areas that I need to explore in order to bring my business online. But the reality is, no matter how I look at it, I have to reflect back on the fact that I can't change what has happened. What I can change is how I respond to what has happened. So I can get into attitude and all those kinds of things. But that is the reality of our lives. And that's so true of so many things that we do. So I hope you found this beneficial. I hope you found it helpful. That is your definitely your tip for this week. Now go out and make your voice heard.